Well, the eye of Ernesto lasted for a couple of hours, and now we're on the back side. The wind has shifted around, and you can see Harrington Sound a lot rougher than it was earlier. Harrington Sound is calm for now as we're in the eye of this storm. Bermuda able to breathe a sigh of relief, even though Hurricane Ernesto made landfall on the island just before dawn. You can look around and there's a good sign. The vegetation is still green. It's not been shredded. Homes and businesses, the structures appear to be in good shape. I was able to get around just the general vicinity here in the Smiths area of Bermuda. Saw some power lines down, some trees down. But the best way I think I've found to judge the strength of a hurricane was one Bermudian I ran into. He was out collecting coconuts, and he has a coconut scale when it comes to hurricanes. Really old coconuts really fall very easily, right? It's once they've been up there for more than nine months, seven months, um, not to nine to 12 months, and then older, right? Coconuts fall. Um, but really, you hardly get a bunch of green coconuts on the ground um, that are just like, clung to the tree so for me I come out and I see all the coconuts still on the tree it's a lot, most of them it's still good you know depending on what part of the island gets hit right and yeah. the wind it comes from so you see it in different places but for the most part a lot of the coconuts that I attend to they're um, they're they're fine fortunately this is a hurricane hardened island most of the structures built to withstand some pretty significant winds from hurricanes like Ernesto Ernesto was a ragged storm coming in thankfully weakening because of some dry air so it didn't really pack the wall up that it could have still over half the island is without power we're in Smith's parish we have some buried power lines so we have maintained power throughout this thankfully but we have several hours left of some strong winds on the backside of this hurricane. I'll continue to cover those impacts for weather and radar in Bermuda. I'm Jonathan Petromala.